Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Giddon in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you and share a very uh, prophetic, a very profound vision with you guys. Now at the end of the vision, I want to explain something to my beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters in the Lord. But I will explain that at the end of this vision. So on the... 16th of November 2019 the Lord gave me a very deep vision brothers and sisters and I'll get straight into it in this vision uh, the Lord brought me to a place I did not know where I was I was walking on the street I was walking in this neighborhood okay and in this neighborhood brothers and sisters let me just describe the physical aspect first before it start to describe the people what I saw. So I was walking through this neighborhood and my heart just started to break because the condition of the neighborhood, the physical condition was appalling, horrible, bad. The houses were run down, some of the windows broken. I was looking through some of the houses and this was daylight, but it looks a bit, you know, cloudy as if it was going to rain, but it was still daylight. And in the houses, they were so dark, uh, even though some of the doors were open and, you know, and broken windows. But people were still living. <laughs> people were still living in this in these in these houses. And as I walked and walked, just observing just the, the condition of this neighborhood, brother and sister, it was bad. Then I start to observe the uh, the condition of the people and the women. Oh, I, I tell you, I, you know, brothers and sisters, let's deal with the women first. I saw uh, these women in this neighborhood, and let me tell you, the way how they how, how they are dressed is a shame. And everything was so vivid uh, in this vision. Nothing was hidden, you know. And, I mean, they were wearing the skimpiest of the skimpiest clothing, brothers and sisters, walking up and down the street. And, uh, you know, they were talking so loud. Uh, but it's like when they were talking, they were muted. So I couldn't hear what they were saying and I couldn't hear the voice. But I could see their mouths moving. And the, the the dress code it's 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 awful. I mean, yeah, the shorts that they were wearing you could see the cheeks of their bottoms. This is all bad in the vision that I saw these ladies, and they were good looking as well. These women weren't ugly like they were pretty, you know. And the boobs are showing cleavage and they're just skimpy, skimpy dressing. And almost all of them dress the same. Some of them have kids, you know, walking up and down on, on the street with the kids at the side, baby in one hand, a little, and it was just, it was terrible. What I was seeing, brothers and sisters, and these little children, they were just running across the road as if they don't have any parents. Then my eyes, my eyes turned to the male the men, the men that was in this neighborhood. And again, they were talking, but I couldn't hear what they were saying because it was like the sound was muted. But I was just observing as I was walking along this neighborhood. And brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, the men, they weren't, the way how they dressed, it's just ridiculous. Uh, their pants, I know that obviously some men were in over the pants on the, bo on the bottom and all that. But this sagging of pants, it was almost to the knees. <laughs> and as I was walking and I saw this group of guys on the street side, they were smoking. They were, it was just bad. It was just really, really bad. And as I began to walk, I stopped outside the house. I was on the street, the sidewalk, and I was looking inside the house. And I saw an old man sitting outside of his house a very old house was just so run down brothers and sisters and as this old man was sitting down he had one leg one leg and when i started to stare at him and i was looking at him he was half blind so he couldn't he could hardly see and i began to feel such pity in my soul and my spirit 
for this young man, not only for the young man, but for all, for everybody that I saw, because they were so lost, brothers and sisters. And as I began to look at this old man, the first thing that came in my, in my heart is that this old man needs to go to the hospital because clearly he's not well. He was very, very poor. Like, I don't even think in the vision when, when I was picking up from him, he had a meal. He was so poor. He was so poor, brothers and sisters, and was sitting outside his house, and I just stood there staring. As I stood staring at the old man, thinking about the condition, the horrible condition in this neighborhood, brothers and sisters, God the Almighty, this is the Father that spoke, sorry, this is not you know, the Holy Spirit, because I can distinguish the voice of the Holy Spirit from the Heavenly Father, though they are one. And brothers and sisters, as I stood outside this old, old man house, looking in at him, thinking about the surroundings and the horrible place that I was, even though I did not know where I was, God, the Father, spoke. When he spoke, I am telling you, brothers and sisters, my knees were so weak because his voice went right through me when he spoke. I'm going to tell you what he says, but I have to explain the voice of God because when he speaks, brothers and sisters, it's like 50 million light bulbs together, roaring sea and all of that. But I thank God, you know, when he spoke, it was manageable. You know, his voice was manageable for me, so I could manage his voice, but it went through me. And he began to spoke, and he says to me, these people that you see in this neighborhood, they are my Hebrew children. Oh, brothers and sisters, when God said that, when the Almighty, when Yah said that to me, Normally, my vision, if an angel speak or the Holy Spirit, I question, you know, because I can manage that. I'll question them. But when God the Father spoke, I didn't even question. I was so humble. I was so humble. And I said, yes, Lord. I said, yes, yes, Heavenly Father. Yes, yes, they are. And then he spoke again. And when he spoke again for the second time, the same thing happened to me, brothers and sisters. His voice just went straight through me straight through my heart my knees were weak I don't know how I stood standing only by his grace <laughs> his grace but his voice just went straight through me and he spoke the second time and he said I will bring restoration to my people again I was so humble I didn't even question because normally as I said I would say what was what did I didn't question I just said I was so humble and I just said yes father yes yes heavenly father yes lord I was just so humble and just obedient to what he was saying to me and then when he said those two things that the, the neighborhood this rundown neighborhood that I was looking at I didn't know where I was sit I haven't mentioned where I was right I still haven't mentioned that and <clears throat> you know, when he mentioned that these are my Hebrew children and he's going to bring restoration. I mean, I had compassion for, for them anyway, but the compassion just rushes in. I just, the compassion after the, after the Lord spoke for these people, brothers and sisters, I just wanted whatever the Lord wanted me to do, whatever the Lord wanted me to do for his people, I'll do it. And then the voice of God just went away. And when the Lord, when the, when the Almighty God Father voice went, the Holy Spirit chipped in. Because you know the Holy Spirit because he's very gentle and he's meek and all of that. And his beautiful voice just came in and he said to me, do you know where you are? And I said, I have no idea. I said, I don't know where I am. And he said, I'm going to tell you where you are. And he said, you are in the slum this is i am telling you exactly i'm not sugarcoating anything because i have to tell you exactly as it is in the vision and the holy spirit spoke to me and he said i will tell you where you are he said you are in the slum and the ghetto of mystery babylon america just like that so i was in america in the ghetto it's awful 
I've never been to a ghetto. I've never been to a slum. But I'm telling you, in this vision that the Holy Spirit took me in, if that's how the ghetto is, I am. T it is sad. Don't care what nobody say. It is sad. I mean, I don't know where in America I was, but it is a dump, brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit calls it slum. He said, you are in the slum and the ghetto of mystery, Babylon, USA, just like that. And when he said that to me, you know, I had my hands up on my mouth like this because the first thing that came in my heart was, America, the one of the richest countries in the world, and people are living like this. Oof. You know, but obviously this is what the Holy Spirit says, so I totally believe him. You know, I just didn't question him. So when he said that to me, you're in the slum and the ghetto of Mr. Babylon, America. And obviously God said this is, these are his Hebrew children, and he's going to restore them, he's going to bring restoration. Brothers and sisters, straight away, the Holy Spirit spoke again and he said, follow Jonathan. And I was like, Jonathan, and I looked beside me and Jonathan uh, was beside me. Some of you here, <clears throat> sorry, some of you have heard me, hear, heard me spoke about Jonathan. Jonathan is a very, very dear brother to me. He's so special. He is so special to me, brothers and sisters, because there is a spiritual connection there is a prophetic connection between me, between Jonathan and I. And he was in this vision. And the Holy Spirit told me to follow Jonathan. Now, Jonathan, I will li I've linked his channel already, but I will leave it in the description box. Jonathan is in Hebrew. He's in Hebrew, Israelite, through and through. He is not mixed. And his, I'm going to link the video because I've never seen anybody done this before. I've never. I'm going to link the video where Jonathan, our brother Jonathan, <clears throat> found his tribe in the Bible. Is a literal tribe. Is in the Bible. He is from the tribe of Judah. So, you know, those of you who want to know more about the Hebrew tribe, follow Jonathan. He is an he's a pastor, he's a prophet. And he's a teacher. He is excellent. He is so good. And and again, Jonathan and I, we were born on the, in December. He's born on the 5th of December. And I was born on the 8th. So you can see the beautiful connection uh, between uh, brother Jonathan and I. He's so special to me. He really, really is. But anyway, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit said to me, follow Jonathan. So I looked around at my side and Jonathan was there. And Jonathan and I began to walk through this neighborhood. We just began to walk. And I remember we entered into this house. And when we, as soon as we opened the door, brothers and sisters, we were in this huge hall. So many people, same type of people. The, I call it the sexy dressing and the soggy pants. These are the people in the hall. And I remember... Because all the spirits had to follow Jonathan, right? So I was, I was, Jonathan was taking the lead and I was following him. And brothers and sisters, remember Jonathan went up to four guys that was around a table. And I stood beside Jonathan and he went up and he introduced himself. And he introduced me as well. And Jonathan began to speak to these four men. And they giggled and they laughed. And basically, Jonathan was telling them that, listen, you guys are from uh, the Hebrew tribe. You're from the 12 tribes of Israel. And they were like, these guys that were sitting there were like, nah, come on. No, no, no. We ain't Israelites. No way. And Jonathan is saying, yes, you are. And they were saying, I remember one of the guys began to, you know, challenge Jonathan and he began to say to Jonathan, well, if we're Israelite, if we're God's people, why are we suffering? We have been in this ghetto and this slum through project. That's the word that he used. He said, we have been here through the project. You know, I, he said, I personally have been in and out of jail since I was a teenager. So if God loves me so much and I'm a special child or his chosen people, why are we suffering? I then saw a Bible in Jonathan's hand, because that wasn't there. But Jonathan had a Bible in his hand. 
and Jonathan began to show them in the Bible uh, certain things concerning the 12 tribes of Israel. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you, by the time uh, Jonathan was finished speaking to these men, their hearts were changed. I remember one of the guys fell on his knees, fell on his knees and he began to cry. And as he began to cry, he said he didn't know. He said, I did not know that I was from the 12 tribes. He said, I thought we're just here in the ghetto doing our thing. We're so lost. And I remember this guy began to praise God. It was so amazing. It was so amazing. I remember this guy, you know, out of the four, he began to praise God. And the rest of the three guys began to acknowledge, to say, you know what? Yeah, we are Hebrews. We're from the 12th tribe. We're just lost. We just don't know where we are, you know, who we are. But as Jonathan began to explain to these men who they are, I am t at the end, they accepted and they accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. They gave their hearts. It was such a beautiful vision. It was so beautiful. And I, and I remember I went over to some of the ladies who were dressed sexy and the first thing that they say to me, you know, I can't do the American accent. I'm not going to try. But I remember that I was wearing a long, beautiful floral skirt and a blouse with some button. My head was wrapped as usual. You know, quite modest. And I remember went over to these ladies and they had the babies, you know, with them and all that. And I remember one of them said to me, oh, what, you know, why are you dress, why are you dressed like that? And I said, dress how? And she said, you in your long skirt and, you know, and I remember I began to, I sat down on her and I, and I began to speak to these women and I, got, I began to show them how to dress. And I began, because I've learned so much from Jonathan, talking to these guys, I was able to, I was able to relate the same message that Jonathan told these, these Hebrew, you know, guys I was able to talk, tell these, these ladies, these Hebrew ladies, and I was saying, look, you're from the 12 tribes. We're only lost, but God is going to restore you. And they were like, come on, look at us. We're nothing. And I'm saying, no, you cannot think like that. I said, restoration is going to come. And as I began to speak to the ladies, their hearts began to change. And one of the changes that I saw, I don't know, I saw some ladies bought over some clothes for these, these group of ladies and gave it to them for them to dress appropriate. You know, they cannot walk up and down with their butt cheeks outside <laughs> and carrying on. So I remember a lady came over who was dressed similar to me and she had some clothes in her hands and she bought it for them. For these group of ladies and their hearts would change as well just as though jonathan spoke to those guys and their hearts would change i did the same thing and their hearts were changed as well and when i looked in this hall there were other people like me and john that like jonathan and i rather doing the same work that jonathan and i were doing telling the people who they are you know giving them the hebrew message to say look that you are God's chosen people. You are the descendant of Father Abraham, Isaac, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yacuba. And, um, oh, I've said it. I've said a Hebrew name there. I'm learning as well. And, um, and it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And then the vision just ended. And when I came out the vision, when I came out the vision, the first thing I said, my God, your people are in the ghetto. That's where they are. Well, you know, most of them really. In the slums of America, Mr. Babylon. That's where they were placed. Very, very plain. I don't have to question this vision or anything like that. But you see, they don't know. This is a problem, isn't it? Because they don't know who they are. Now, I did say that I want to mention something at the end of this vision. Now, brothers and sisters, for those of you who have been on this channel and have been blessed and I give God thanks for that. I cannot do this. This is the Holy Spirit movement. I have a dual role. I am not only a prophetic 
prophetess who comes yes i prophesy all sorts i prophesied about obama you know donald trump what's gonna happen babylon america earthquakes tsunamis mark of the beast destruction rapture wilderness yes that is a part of my prophetic ministry but there's a second part of it which a lot of people won't understand because when i came out and I began to talk about the Hebrews. A lot of my brothers and sisters unsubscribed from the channel because they said that I was racist. And they said that I'm causing division. It's not division, it's biblical. It's just because the government and the pastors have lied throughout the century and have hidden the true Hebrew Israelites. And a lot of people think that the true Hebrews are down in the fake Israel. It's not them. The 12 scattered tribe, they're all scattered. They're not brought together yet. The Lord is going to do that. And I've done a video. I'll link it in the description box. I'll link it. I'm not going to go over that. But part of my ministry, from the things that I've outlined about Obama and Trump and all of that, part of my ministry is to bring in or to awaken the Hebrews that is scattered all over the world. Majority of them are in Africa, brothers and sisters. I tell you the truth, they are. I am going to leave. <clears throat> There's a beautiful brother, I haven't met him yet. But Jonathan, it is so amazing because Jonathan told me about him, I think yesterday. Um, he sent me a message and he said, You know, check out this brother. And I went on his page today before I did the video. The Lord said, Just go on his page. And I went on his page. And he did, the last, I think the latest video that he did was three weeks ago or something like that. And it's entitled Hebrews in Tanzania. He's called Masiya. Um, I, will leave his, um, I will leave the link in the description bo box. It is not for everybody. If you're not interested in the Hebrew awakening, it is not for you. But for those who are interested in the Hebrew awakening and you want to know you know, come into the truth. I want to know about the 12 tribes of Israel or uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, Isolele, I hope I pronounce it right, um, or the 12 tribe of Jacob, Jacob's 12 son, Jacob, Yakuba. Um, I will leave his link in the description box. Those of you, especially in Africa, uh, Tanzania, South Africa, Congo, maybe Nigeria, uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia, all the scattered tribe, you know, uh, listen to Masiya, that's his name. Um, I will leave the video link. I will also leave Jonathan. I call him my Jonathan because he really is my Jonathan. Um, he really is. Um, I will leave my Jonathan's video as well. Link in the description box where he find his tribe. And in this video with Massey, Massey found some of the tribes in the Bible. The tribes are there, brothers and sisters. It is in the Word. It is in Chronicles. I think it's Chronicles or Kings or one of those books. But the tribes are, are, are there. If You know, they are just scattered all over the world. But it was a beautiful dream about America and the ghetto. That's where they are. And people need to minister to them, you know. But the Lord took, my, the Lord took Jonathan and myself in the spirit we were in the spiritual realm we're in the spiritual world in babylon america down in the ghetto ministering to the people telling them who they are once they found who they are they came to jesus christ they came to yah they came to the messiah i am telling you I am telling you, brothers and sisters, and you know, so I, I link those videos in the description box. But I just wanted to come and to share this, that the awakening has started. Like I said, this message is not for everybody, but it's for people who is interested in the awakening of Yakuba's uh, 12 tribe, Jacob's 12 tribe that is scattered all over the world and God is going to bring God is going to bring us back together so God eternally bless you I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory in Jesus precious holy name amen and amen amen blessings amen